गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल एट योर फेवरेट यूट्यूब चैनल विज्ञान विहान आई विश यू ऑल अ वेरी वाइब्रेंट एनर्जेटिक प्रॉस्परस दिवाली दिस इज अवर वीडियो फॉर सोल्यूशन ऑफ यू जी सी सी एस आई आर नेट जनरल एप्टीट्यूड पार्ट ए दिस इज द पेपर ऑफ मैथमेटिकल साइंसेज एंड लाइफ साइंसेज इन दिस एपिसोड वी विल सोल्व द प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम नंबर इलेवन टू सिक्सटीन लेट्स स्टार्ट द सोल्यूशन हियर इज अवर फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इन दिस द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम ऑफ दिस एपिसोड प्रॉब्लम नंबर इलेवन राइट डी इज इक्वल्स टू वन डिग्री आर इज इक्वल्स टू वन रेडियन एंड जी इज इक्वल्स टू वन ग्रेडियंट देन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज ट्रू देर इज अंट हंड्रेड ग्रेडियन इज अ राइट एंगल हंड्रेड ग्रेडियन इज इक्वल्स टू अ राइट एंगल देर आर फोर ऑप्शन ऑप्शन वन कोस डी इज लेस देन कोस आर इज लेस देन कोस जी ऑप्शन टू कोस आर इज लेस देन कोस जी इज लेस देन कोस डी ऑप्शन थ्री कोस आर इज लेस देन कोस डी इज लेस देन कोस जी ऑप्शन फोर कोस जी इज लेस देन कोस डी इज लेस देन कोस आर इन दिस प्रॉब्लम देर आर थ्री यूनिट्स ऑफ एंगल यूज सच देट small d means 1 degree small r is 1 radian small g is 1 gradian then we will have to arrange cos of those angles in ascending order we know the cosine value decreases with angle theta from 0 degree to 90 degree at 0 degree its value is 1 at 90 degree its value is 0 Now compare those units. First, one degree and one radian. We know the one eighty degree is equals to pi radian, or we can write one eighty degree is equals to three point one four radian. One radian is equals to one eighty degree upon three point one four. Its value would be nearly. 55 degree then one radian is equals to 55 degree then one gradient the 100 gradient is equals to a right angle so 100 gradient is equals to 90 degree angle then we can write that one gradient will be equal to 90 degree upon 100 that will be 0.9 degree there are our relations all those units in a single unit degree unit we can compare now such that on the the angle axis near to the cosine axis we get first the gradient then 1 degree after that at 55 degree we get one radian so these are in descending order of cosine if we want to arrange them in ascending order we can write that cos r value is minimum then cos degree then cos gradient value is maximum in that condition the correct answer of this problem will be cos r is less than cos d is less than cos g the correct answer of this problem is option 3 Next problem problem number 12 a vendor sells articles having a cost price of rupees 100 each he sells these articles at a premium price during first 8 months and at a sale price which is half of the premium price during next 4 months he makes a net profit of 20% at the end of the year assuming that equal numbers of articles are sold each month what is the premium price of the article option 1 122 option 2 144 option 3 150 option 4 160 friends here is our next problem in this problem a vendor sell articles at cost price rupees 100 each during first 8 months he sell 
at premium price and sell at discounted price for last 4 months. In last 4 months, the premium price is half of the premium price of the initial month. In last 4 months, the sale price is half of the premium price in initial months. He makes net profit of 20% at the end of year. Assuming the equal number of articles are sold each month, what is the premium price of the article? Let's start the solution. Each article cost 100 rupees. Let each month n articles are sold. The premium price in initial month is 100 plus x rupees. In starting 8 months, he got the total amount after selling the number of articles 8 months each month n and the premium price is now 100 plus x. He got this amount. In the next 4 months, he is selling his articles in half of the premium price then he get for 4 months each month n articles then multiply with half of the premium price that will be now 100 plus x divided by 2. Add the both amount we will get 8 plus 2 that is 10 n 100 plus x but the cost price of those articles will be for 12 months it is 12 each month an article every article is for 100 rupees so the cost price is this he is getting 20 percent profit from this business so let's get the difference of these two amounts for calculation i will rub off the upper part of this question the difference amount the profit part the vendor got is 10 n multiply with 100 plus x minus 12 n multiply with 100 get the difference the part n is common. Here it is 1000 plus 10x minus 1200. Then n multiply with 10x minus 200. The percentage profit which the vendor got can be calculated by the difference amount profit is n 10x minus 200 divided by the cost price that is 12 n upon 100 multiply it with 100 then we will get the percentage profit which is according to the given problem it is 20 percent then the 100 quantity is cancelled out the n quantity is also cancelled out. We will get 10x minus 200 will be equal to 12 multiply with 2 that is 240. Then 10x would be equal to 4, 4, 0. Then x will be equal to 44 rupees. So the premium price of the articles is 100 plus x premium is now 100 plus x that will be now 144 rupees the correct answer of this problem is option 2 144 the next problem problem number 13 the statement the father of my son is the only child of your parents there are four options can never be true option two is true in only one type of relation option three can be true
for more than one type of relations option 4 can be true only in a polygamous family friends here is our next problem the problem number 13 in this problem a statement is given the father of my son is the only child of your parents there are four options we will have to select the correct explanation of this statement let's start the father of my son if mother of the child is saying the father of my son here it is father is the only child of your parents so if father is the only child of parents then she must address the father means the mother is saying to her husband that the father of my son is the only child of his parents otherwise if mother is telling to father's sister then father is not a single child so according to the given situations there is only one condition that the lady is telling her husband in that condition the correct answer of this problem would be it is true in only one type of relation option 2 problem number 14 one is required to tile a plane with congruent regular polygon with which of the following polygons is this possible option 1 6 gun option 2 8 gun option 3 10 gun option 4 12 gun friends in the given problem there are four options we require to tile a plane with congruent regular polygon according to our experience we can explain if we use regular congruent hexagon then the angle of hexagon is 120 degree its outer angle is 60 degree if we attach such other hexagons with it then the hexagons attached together can tile a plane because this angle 120 this angle 120 this angle 120 makes a total angle of 360 in any condition if the inner angle of a congruent regular polygon is 360 by n where n may be 1 2 3 4 we can tile a plane so the correct answer of this problem would be option 1 hexagon the last problem of this episode problem number 15 the circles of equal diameters are placed such that their centers make an equilateral triangles as in the figure within each circle 50 points are randomly scattered the frequency of distribution of distances between all possible pairs of points will look as there are four options for graphs we will have to select the correct option for its answer friends the last problem of this episode is here the problem number 15 in this problem there are three circles of equal diameters the circles are configured such as their centers are situated at the vertices of an equilateral triangle in each circle there are 50 points randomly scattered then we will have to recognize an appropriate representation of the distribution of these points with the distance between all possible pairs of points now let's start the solution from its center at zero distance 
there will be no such point in that condition the curve will be started from the origin the each curve is starting from origin when i go further from this point we will get more and more points inside the circular area then at the circumference of the circle we would get the maximum number of such points if i go farther from the circumference of the circle we will get no more points till the distance when i touch the rim of the other two circles in that condition the frequency distribution start to increase from initial point then in the region from the circumference of this circle to the rim of the other circles we will get zero such points so so the frequency will decrease till zero after that when we go for more distance we will get some points in this region and if i go further the number of such points will increase till the outer rim of those two circles but after that no more points will be counted in that condition only the option 3 where first time from 0 to frequency will increase to the top value and after the peak value the frequency will decrease then again it will increase for more number of points and then it will decrease to zero then after that no increase will be shown according to the given figure the answer of this problem will be option 3 keep practicing if you have any doubts about the solutions then comment suggestions are also welcomed all those problems you can get in pdf form from the google drive link given in the description of this video thanks for watching this video if you like this video please share it with your friends please subscribe this channel and tap on the bell icon so that you can get notifications thank you